I was always taught that if someone were to hit you, you don't hit back and you should walk away, go tell a teacher or something like that. How do you balance that and standing up for yourself and punching back harder if you get punched first? Those are the standards you're gonna have to choose when you have a kid. But to me, think about the profile of a bully. What is the profile of a bully? The profile of a bully is he finds targets. And what does a bully fiend? Weak targets. Targets that he's not afraid of. Targets that back down. Targets that don't come back at you, right? Do you watch UFC at all? Not really. Do you like boxing at all? I like watching it. I don't typically, yeah. though. No, no. Do you watch any UFC, any of that? I casually I have, yeah, watch yeah. Casually yeah, watch yeah. it. What do you think about it? What do you think about fighting? Not for me, but I appreciate the sport. Does it entertain you at all or no? It does. It does entertain yeah. you. Do you know 90% of these guys, when they started fighting, why they started fighting? They got bullied. They got bullied. Yeah. And look where they are now. So... I mean, you know, there's an element of that where if somebody comes and bullies you once and you don't do anything, second time around, third time around, fourth time around, now you have a reputation. You know what the reputation is? You can bully them. I remember when I started my own insurance company, September 23rd of 09. A month later, I get sued. 400-page lawsuit comes to me, okay, from a $400 billion company, massive company. And they sue me and they sue five other people, which means we have to represent five people. It's not like they sue me only. Well, I have to get legal for me. They want to make sure everybody depletes their savings and they scare, scare the crap out of everybody and all the insurance companies didn't want to give me contracts. They're like, Patrick's got a big lawsuit. He's going to go out of business, da, 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 da. Mm. At that time, I could have either sat there and taken it from the bully or I had to make sure they also knew where we stood. We had multiple conversations. The moment they realized where we stood and we were not going to take clients, we were not going to defame and start saying this and this and that and, you know, trashing them and all that other stuff. Nope. I'm a, I'm a guy that was going to wait to see what you say about me. Then I'm going to come at you hard. But if you don't say anything about me, I'm not going to say anything bad about you at all. We're good to go. We move on. So he finally said, look, man, if you don't say anything, we won't say anything. No problem. Good to go. So we go. We roll. I don't at all talk about the company. I don't at all trash nothing. If you go ask any of our sales guys, did Pat ever train on trashing other insurance company? They'll tell you Pat's never trained on that. We've got 45,000 agents nationwide. Then one day I get a letter from the CEO of this company, a cease and desist letter. There was an image going around on Facebook that a guy created named Tony. And he was comparing our comp to them. I don't like doing stuff like that, but he did this and then it went viral. And the CEO sends me a letter and it's comparing our comp and he says, well, you know, we just want to let you know we paid this much commission last year, this much, this, this much, that. And you need to have your designers not put this out there. And I'm like, okay, no problem. See, send this, this letter comes to my house. So now I'm getting ready to send a respond back to him with a letter to his home office. Then all of a sudden I notice 50, 100 people post that letter on social media from their company. And these are all leaders. So I noticed the letter wasn't just sent to me. He sent it to me and to all their vice presidents to say, we are not backing down and we're going to bully this guy. No problem. Now I have to react. At 2.30 in the morning, I react with a letter I write, open letter Facebook post that you got to go read, okay? And I post the image. And I say, first of all, I want to say, Whoever created this image, I want to thank them because it took us seven years to have a meeting together. I've received many different love letters in my life, but yours is one of my favorite love letters of all time. I thought this was only going to me, but since you chose to send this to every other leader in your company, I figured it was better for me to write an open letter to you. And I went through the whole thing. I said, I notice you golf three, four, five times a week at these two different country clubs. I notice what your work is. I notice what you're doing. As a person who's a founder, we work at a different level. I've noticed your company got started in such and such year. The founder got their insurance license in 1977. I was born in 1978. I wish I could sell insurance as an infant, but I couldn't. I got out of the army in this and this and time, and I put that out there. That goes viral. One guy, he knows who he is, and I know who you are creates a burner account and starts acting like his name is this, this girl's name and he accidentally switches account, his name posts and then he deletes it. So we knew exactly who this guy was. He got caught. It was so embarrassing and beautiful at the same time. But you know what happened in that moment? Our company, after that post, grew 75% that year because everybody in the company realized you can't bully us. We will stand up. There's different ways to stand up. But if my kid, there's a kid in school that's bullying my kid. 
if my kid's being bullied, first step, you tell him, hey, don't do it. Second step, you tell a teacher. If he continues, you've been instructed by your dad to use your abilities of jujitsu to show him, don't do this again. And make sure you do when there's 20 people around because there are 20 people will be your publicists. They're going to go tell everybody and you will not be fighting while you're at the school. So there's these elements where you have to stand up. If you don't, the bully's going to keep showing up. 